Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're gonna take a look into this a little bit like older type of uh, web browser which is I encountered this at like uh, the early 2000s and at the same time it was a little bit like popular at the same time but it doesn't have the rockstar uh, kind of uh, thing like the uh, Firefox and the how to say this one the Explorer Internet Explorer that was way back in early 2000 so uh, even like it wasn't uh, like in the level of the Safari and all those stuff and I know it's a little bit like an old type of web browser but it's still going on it still has the uh, the website and the downloads and at the same time it is and it is cross platform and it is also available in Android Linux Android uh, in Android Linux uh, Apple's products like iPad iMac and so on and so forth and at the same time it is also available in Windows and of course especially in Linux desktop and supercomputers at the same time so anyway uh, let's take a look into this uh, web browser which is the Midori web browser so let's take a look into this and see why is it still available and it is choice of some of the users in different platforms so let's take a look into this let's open the web browser uh, there it is Midori okay you can also type in the website that is astian.org slash Midori dash browser it is light fast and secure browser that protects and love to take care of your privacy and secure your data it doesn't have this so-called tracing thing but it has a ad blocker at the same time it is uh, secure compared to others let me see uh, download is available in Windows Linux Android and ISO it is available in cross-platform Midori fantastic future worth for the modern browser experience with synchronization that allows you to have all the information on your device not on the web servers it is fast liquid with tools and tub experience management and of course the addition to this one it has a total privacy of course with ASEAN Go on your browser so you can download this one total privacy yes it is total privacy you can check out this and their website of course uh, the difference between different types of web browser it has good thing and bad thing at the same time it has good points and weak points that is sometimes completely understandable and of course all through the uh, the saturated market for all of in the space and the opportunity to market itself you know uh, to market their their customers and uh, that is why it is tracking you in your browsing experience but of course Midori has different it is more in privacy Midori is a open source so it has completely like transparent to everything on everyone and including the license of the project so it is in public uh, license so it is open source and you don't have to to worry about your privacy because it is open source you can always check out their website and their source code if you want to it doesn't lock you out from the source which is very very good to have that in a tech company com compared to the big tech companies that yeah, the browser is a little bit like their marketing skills for their uh, clients so anyway uh, you can check that one out including in the bottom they have their social networks like the Facebook Twitter X and LinkedIn so let's go to the 
download let us see what is the download we can choose from we have the windows the mac and the linux you can download this by a dev or dev file uh, the package the pkg and of course the tar gz so you have all this stuff right here and at the same time it is also available in my big store which is let me open my big store let me maximize that one and me do okay let me type on the search bar and enter that one we have Midori let's try to install yes this is uh, from the repository of the big store of the big Linux OS distro so let's uh, try to look into this of course it is lightweight very powerful at the same time and it is private it has also some privacy out of the box like the ad blocker filter and privacy uh, browsing and manage your cookies and scripts by of course by containering them at same time open a thousand tabs instantly no worries about the ROM or it itself and easy to uh, use as a web app creation hmm kind of cool of course they have the customized slide panels at the same time you have that option so let's try to see and download this one let's download of course don't forget your super secret password if you're downloading Linux or maybe in your Mac but uh, in Apple products like your iPad or Mac you have the ID f fingerprint or the face ID so but in Linux it's, it's still much better to enter your pin just click apply for that one no need to choose from that and let's try to see what in store for this one okay it is now let's try to close this one let's go to the internet as you can see I have all those stuff right here from the brave chromium Firefox uh, Chrome unstable which is the dev version I have the Midori already I have also the Tor yes I'm using the Tor so let's uh, full screen let's try to open some Midori let's try to see oh they're using DuckDuckGo for their uh, default search page but I rather use the startpage.com for my search okay so they have the Midori oh I forgot web browser there it is we have our information there cool it's fast okay let's try to see if what we could find in their preference or their settings so let us see so home page is midori.browser.org DuckDuckGo is their search they also have Yahoo and Google uh -huh. when you open of course start with the last tab okay so let me okay how about if I just gonna add more so okay let's install as a home page can it support ah, okay so let's open the preference and search start with ah, okay so it tells us to put into this so ad blocker advertising blocked already yeah 
colorful tubs yes I like that one how about the clock no do we have to no how about the feature down here no I'll just leave it like that one all right kind of cool how about let's try to check the other like uh, you know um, other information about the Midori okay so I was looking for Wikipedia so let's zoom in a little bit Midori is a Japanese word for green so it is free and open source it started in what year it's a little bit like old but I think it has a very old like way back then uh, let me see if they have that one yes it is older <laughs> of course I remember this one it was way back then do check it out if you want to have a privacy and of course it doesn't track you down so it was actually lightweight browser and merge into browser Yes, it, this was uh, actually a a Linux uh, application web browser way back then. Like, it wasn't like nineteen or two thousand nineteen. It was more than that. Oh, there it is. It was officially released in two thousand seven. Yeah, I remember. It was like two thousand tens uh, that I encountered this one. Several years after, like three, four something like that something like 2010s I remember this one so anyway uh, if you have some question feel free to ask me if you have some uh, doubts on this one I could cover anything else uh, and especially maybe in the next few days uh, next few weeks I'll be covering something uh, something uh, different so maybe in the next uh, Linux app, I'll be uh, giving you some of the things like the uh, music composers, the video editors, and at the same time, uh, the picture and vector layout thing application, even the audio application or audio apps. Uh, available in Linux and in cross-platform Linux and Unix like application or apps that I will be covering in the next few days and weeks for the Linux app and of course some of them are available in cross-platform so anyway that's it for now this is Blair your science teacher in Sunbeam School Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That's why science is cool. Ciao.